The answer to the history of the naming of Naranhiti is the two ancient structures on opposite sides of the museum. The first, Naran Temple, and the second, Hiti. It is mentioned in the history of this place that a traditional stone drinking fountain is called Hiti in Nepal language. The temple and the river together were named Naranhiti. During the time of Lichivi King Dharmadev, water stopped flowing in the traditional stone drinking fountain of Kathmandu Valley, including Naranhiti. According to the story, at that time there was a drought in the country, and when the entire drinking fountain, river, and pond dried up in the valley, the people were worried and there was a lot of chaos. King Dharmadev was greatly distressed by this. When the kingdom was about to collapse, the religious king Dharmadev sent the tantric to find a way to open the water. They looked to the drinking fountain of Naranhiti and requested for a sacrifice of a man with all 32 powerful zodiac characteristics and only then the tantric suggested that the water will come. The man with 32 characteristics in the kingdom was either king himself or his son Manadev. So either King Dharmadev himself had to be sacrificed or his son had to be sacrificed. Due to the problem of air, Dharmadev decided to sacrifice himself. He called his son Manadev and ordered that anyone who is found sleeping in the rock at night, you will cut him without looking at his face. Manadev went to Naranhiti that night as per his father's order. A man was sleeping in a blanket with all covered. According to his father's order, Manadev cut off the head of that person without even looking at his face. Then, water came from Dhungedhara or stone fountain as soon as the human sacrifice was performed. After removing the cloth, Manadev saw the body of his own father, Dharmadev. It is mentioned that when going to wash the sword with the same stone fountain's water, the fountain said that it will not even look at the face of the murderer who killed his own father. Even now, there is a popular legend that because of this, Naranhiti's two stone fountain head is turned backwards. Even if we look at Chang'o Naran temple records, the sudden death of King Dharmadev and the fact that Queen Rajavati has mentioned this incident many times, so historians have not been able to reject this legend. It is believed that Manadev meditated for some time after killing his own father and when he returned after meditation, he built the Baudanath Stupa. There is a history that King Manadev ruled for 41 years after Dharmadev's head was cut off. Even in the Gopal Ras genealogy, it is mentioned that Manadev killed his father Dharmadev without knowing it. Mandev was the first proven king of Nepal. Mandev's time is taken from 521 to 562 Bikram Sambat, that is of 41 years. Manadev built Changunaran temple, built Managriha and introduced currency called Manang. According to Changunaran temple records, during his time, the kingdom's boundaries extended to the Himalayas in the north, Gandaki in the west and Kosi region in the east. According to King Joydev's Pasupati sculpture, Manadev was the 39th king of Lichvi. Manadev also stopped his mother from committing sati. History says that Naranhiti was the property of Kazi Dhokal Singh Basniat, the youngest son of the first chief soldier of Gorkha, Sivaram Singh Basniat. In the year 1850 Bikram Sambat, Dhokal Singh built a grand and beautiful palace called Kirti Mandir on the land he received from King Rana Bahadur Saha. After Dokal Singh achieved heroism during the war, the palace of Naran Hiti was taken away by Bimson Tapa and given to his brother Kazi Bhaktawar Singh Tapa. After the death of Bimson Tapa, the palace was given by King Rana Bahadur Saha to Chautariya Fatejang Saha. After Chautariya Fatejang Saha was killed in Kot Parva of 1903 Bikram Sambat, the then Sri Tien Janga Bahadur Rana assumed the executive authority of the government and started living in the Thapathali palace. After that, while giving separate palace to his brothers, the palace of Naran Hiti fell on the part of Janga Bahadur's brother Ranadip Singh Kaur. In 1942 Bikram Sambat, Veer Samsar along with his soldiers killed his uncle Ranadip Singh Kaur. After the killing of Ranadip Singh Kaur, Sri Tin Veer Samsar demolished the Kirti temple 
and built another palace. That palace was taken by Bir Samsar. After the marriage of the two daughters of Sritin Vir Samsar with King Prithivi Virabhikram Saha, Sritin Vir Samsar gave that palace as a dowry to her daughters. Later, kings of Saha dynasty, Trivuvan, Mahendra, Birendra, Dipendra, and Ganendra, and many other royal family members were born in Narvanhiti. Before that, all the Saha dynasty kings from Prithvi Narayan Saha used to stay in the palace of Hanuman Dhoka in Basantapur. Later, during the reign of King Mahendra in the year 2026 Bikram Sambat, the palace built by Street in Deer Samsar was also demolished and a new building was built and Narvanhiti Palace got its present form. With the entry of Nepal into a democratic republic, Narvanhiti Palace has now become an open museum. Thank you.